looking like this. Oh god. It's alright, it could be worse. It could be an ugly cry like uh, that. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Are you detail-oriented or more of a big-picture kind of person? When it comes to showing empathy and compassion, one approach may be a lot more effective than the other. Our brains are good at a lot of things, like recognizing faces and patterns, but we're not so good at grasping big numbers. So when something happens that affects hundreds or thousands of people, it's hard for us to see them as more than just numbers. Ever notice how in nearly every disaster movie, even though the fate of the whole world is at stake, they only focus on one select group of people? See, filmmakers know this, and just like they don't have the screen time to show you everyone's story, you don't have the emotional bandwidth to process it. Research shows that we empathize more with individual people in a group than we do with the group as a whole. But research was made to be repeated, so we devised our own experiment to test what makes us for others. Hi, I'm Julian. Hi, I'm Lee. We invited participants in and asked them to watch a video about homelessness. They didn't know it, but we actually had them watch one of two videos. One video had a lot of facts and figures. The other video focused on one individual homeless man named John. This is where I sleep at night. I lay my blankets down, my backpacks. I tie up my backpacks onto my wheelchair so they can't steal them anymore. I try not to come here before dark because I don't like pissing these people off because they're really nice. I know everybody on the street. I don't bother nobody. I try to stay on this side of the line. I killed over 70 confirmed kills as a sniper. I I'm trying to atone to the Lord right now for it. I know he forgives me. After watching the video, we asked them a few questions about it. So what did you think of the video? Did it evoke anything in particular? The numbers themselves grabbed at me, but then it was what those numbers represented that grabbed at me more. You know, in this day and age when you're bombarded with numbers and stats and quickly becomes overwhelming. You don't have the, the time that, that I think you need to really focus. We need to see imagery because you see someone and you think, I could be that person. Being able to really imagine yourself and put yourself in someone else's place that, like, a lot of people judge homeless people, but they don't actually imagine what it'd be like to have no one and sleep on the street and, like, be ignored by everyone and judged like that. The story, um, if you're paying attention, it gets inside of you and you realize the humanity that's there. And then told them they were done. We compensated them for their time in cash and showed them the door. Thank you. But the final part of the experiment was actually outside. Waiting for them was Christian, an actor disguised as a homeless man. Now we wait and see if the video had an impact. Our quantifiable measurement for how much the videos impacted them was how much they donated to Christian. Oh, dude, thank you. Yeah, have a nice day, I man. appreciate that. Yeah. You know, you have a good day, too. Wow, man, thank you. I haven't yet. I was going to. Do you want to? How about like? A dollar twenty-five will pay for a taco. All right. Well, you know what, Kat? Get ten tacos. Oh, that is so incredibly Enjoy. sweet of you. Thank oh, you so, so much. Welcome. Have a good day. On average, people who watched the statistical video donated $2.80. Not bad. It means that thinking about the larger problem did have an effect. However, people who watched our video about John donated on average $4. Their larger donations meant that they were more moved to action when they connected with an individual in need. Don't worry though, Christian gave it all back. I think seeing a personal story, seeing it through someone's eyes, like. What's, what's been going on in their lives, it just makes you feel so much more because they're, again, it just turns them into a person as opposed to a number. Helping the homeless is an important cause, but the lesson here can be applied to so much more. Remember, when you start to learn about problems that affect hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands of people, there are individuals hidden in those numbers. And when you start to see them as people, you start to feel for them more.
Supergeek. Supergeek.